Hey guys, it's Laurel here. Welcome to another Ready, Set, Stamp with LLC. It's our monthly collaboration with myself, Laura Sturks, and Katherine Pooler. We come to you each month with using the same product from a different manufacturer, but we all use the same product, and we create things. And it's so fun to see how different our projects are using the exact same product. So I am actually doing my voiceover from the closet in my bedroom. I'm trying to find a few minutes to myself to do this voiceover. <laughs> so this is the card I'm going to make in uh, today's video. And this month we are featuring waffle flower crafts. So the two products that we all will be using in our videos today are the doily circle die and also the homemade Christmas stamp set. Now, if you comment on each of our YouTube channels, you could possibly win the doily die set. So be sure to comment on all of our YouTube channels and that will automatically enter you into the giveaway. So to start with, I'm taking the little Christmas tree from that stamp set and I'm gonna stamp it in some different color inks here that I have in my stash to kind of create a rainbow look. This is like a bright, fun Christmas card. So the colors I'm using are the Bloomsberry by W plus nine. That was the purple. Mint Julep is that pretty green color I just put down. Now I'm putting down some Butter Bar, some Green Hills, and then lastly that pink is Bubble Gum. And all of those are Hero Arts inks, and that first purple color is Bloomsberry, and that's from W Plus 9. They are all dye inks. But you could use any inks that you may have. So now I'm going to stamp a sentiment onto the card base here. There's a lot of fun sentiments in this stamp set, but I decided to go with the traditional Merry Christmas for my background here. When stamping sentiments, I like to use this Onyx Black pigment ink because it gives a nice crisp impression and it's bold and black and I just love using it for sentiments. But it is a pigment ink, so it will stay wet a little bit longer. So I'm going to just zap this with my heat tool because I certainly don't want to smear the ink all over my card. So now it's time to use the doily here, and I wanted to use it in a different way, so I made a stencil out of it. I die cut it with some cardstock, and I'm just laying it over that panel there, and I'm blending in some ink. The color I'm using is Tumbled Glass Distress Ink, and I'm going in with a very soft touch here, and just blending out right through that uh, doily stencil we basically created here. I just love the background it leaves behind. This is a lovely doily uh, die. It's very detailed. So once I've got that down and I'm pretty happy with it, I just think that's so, I just think it's pretty. It's kind of like a doily sky, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to take some of the small stars in the stamp set. Lots of stamp sets include small images, and I like that because you can use it as fillers if need be. I thought this card needed a little bit more. It's pretty simple, but I wanted to add just a little something. So I'm taking those stars there, and I'm stamping it with some silver pigment ink here. Just dabbing it here and there, wherever I think it might look good. And I like that little touch of silver here. And then we're just about done. I decided to pop this card up on some foam dimensions. So I did trim it down. So it's actually a quarter, four by five and a half. So I took a quarter inch off of each side. And I'm going to pop it up with some foam dimension. I'm using that big ginormous roll of scotch, uh, double-sided, you know, the roll that's as big as your head. <laughs> I'm using that, and I'm just peeling off the backing papers and just throwing it all around me. Can you imagine what my desk looks like? <laughs> and then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that down, and that's the card. Fun, simple, colorful. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for joining me today, and remember to leave comments so you could win the doily die. The links to Laura and Catherine's YouTube videos are linked right below, along with the other supplies I used in the video today. Thank you guys so much for joining me today.